So they say not to go cold turkey when you're trying to quit something. So I'm not. Hence the Cinnabon. <laughs> Look at this goodness, y'all. Oh my God. I'm still kind of on a diet, but if I stop eating sweets like cold turkey, oh, I'm gonna OD and overeat. I had to get a cinnamon. Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. Water. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, my name is Rashida and welcome to 40 to Happy. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my little community. This channel is all about 40 plus motivation, okay? Over 40, 35 and up, subscribe, okay? Just, just subscribe. We talk about achieving goals and, you know, aspirations past the age of 40. Why? Because we're still alive, duh. So all the over 40 shade that some people be throwing out there, like we're not doing none of that over here. So if that's your vibe, subscribe to my channel and um, I'll be talking about shit. This last semester of school has been kicking my butt and um, Lord. <laughs> My last class was mental health and I pretty much needed mental health after that. And so now I'm in a new class and I am in my last rotation before my preceptorship, which is right now I'm in gerontology. So we just started gerontology this past Tuesday. Um, again, we still have a test. We still have exams every week. So Tuesday I have a test. I got my study guide right here. I just left work by the way, it's like three something. So yeah, I just got out of work. I was watching a vlog. I saw a Cinnabon and I was like, let me go get one because I'm just going to eat on it for a couple of days. I have to hide it in my book bag so my kids don't see. But yeah, so that's what we do over here on this channel. I talk about my journey as a 45-year-old nursing student. Um, I graduate in April of 2024. And again, this is my last specialty rotation. So I've done pediatrics, mother, baby, mental health, and it's only four, I guess. And gerontology, I don't know. So yeah, once I'm done with this in December, then we go into nursing eight, and nursing eight is the last semester. Seven weeks of lecture following seven weeks, no, seven weeks of lecture, and then seven weeks of preceptorship, which is just your some people call it a capstone or your something else but we call it a preceptorship and that's where we're on the floor with our preceptor which is a nurse who is experienced and has you know she's been there he or she has been a nurse for a while so they're going to be pretty much your trainer so so we also have to um pick a place that we want to work so i picked my two places and um, one of them I'm not gonna do. And the other one I'm waiting to hear back if I got into the internship, because the internship and the preceptorship is two different things. Preceptor is mandatory. that You have to do a preceptorship somewhere. It helps if you do your preceptorship on the unit that you want to work for. So the one that I wanna work for, I'm waiting to hear back because I did have an interview which I think went well. I don't know. Um, I had a lot of negative self-talk after I had that interview. I was like, they don't like me. <laughs> we'll see. Um, it's, it's, it's my dream job. It's where I've always wanted to work as a nurse. So if I get it, I'm going to tell you. If I don't get it, I'm going to tell you. Another thing. Yes, I did fail an ATI. I did, I did. And when I tell you I was through, through. Mentally, I was like, oh my God. Like, so, all right, let me, I, before I tell you about the ATI, I have to go to the store and get food to cook for my kids, okay? They're texting me that they're hungry. So let me go 
get what I need to get from the grocery store, go home and cook it, and then I'll tell you about ATI when I'm all done. Bet? Bet. Okay, so it's now 6 p.m. Friday night. I'm home. I got my dinner together and I put my uniform in the wash because I had it on yesterday for some part of class. We had to do skills check or something like that. So um, my stuff is in the laundry. So let's finish our conversation from earlier. Um, I was talking about ATI. And so after every class, we have to take ATI. Now, up until this point, I've been getting level one. Like I always get level one on, it doesn't matter what class it is, level one is, is me. I'm not an ATI girly. Like I don't, I don't get level two. I don't get level three, not yet anyway. I was, um, I was okay with that. So our last class, I don't even remember. I think it was October 30th or something like that for mental health. And we had to take ATI and I got below level one. So when I tell you, I just, I was frozen. Like I studied, uh -uh. I studied my butt off. I did practice questions. I looked at the rationales over and over. ACI had like 399 questions. I did damn near all those questions and I still, still was not up to par. And I was really, really, really upset. When I tell you, when I looked at the grade, you, you, you press submit or whatever, and you know, your, your grade pops right up and it said below level one. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I kind of shed a tear while I was in the class. I'm not even going to lie. And you could leave quietly. I went nowhere. I stayed in my seat fucking stunned, okay? Stunned. Like, the questions that were for practice were nothing like what was on the exam. There was questions on it. I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what you're asking me. I don't know what this is. Like, <clears throat> there was nothing similar about the practice questions. Granted, I know that they're not gonna be the same questions, obviously, but they were nothing like it. And I'm like, every time I take at ATI, the questions are never like similar at all. And PEDS was hard for me and I passed that. Like, I just, anyway, so I failed an ATI exam and I was really bummed out. And I wasn't really bummed out because I was past, I was, I had a good grade in the class, so I didn't fail the class, but it just bothers me because nursing eight, which is coming up in, in January, um, is all about ATI. Like it's ATI test every week. So that means like, I literally really, really have to be on my A game. Not that I wasn't on my A game, but like that one test told me that I don't, I, that I need to work harder. Um, like I really wanted to cry when I saw that grade. I was really like tearing up and I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't cry. But you know, I called, well, I texted my friend like right after and I was like, yeah, I failed. <laughs> he was like, girl, don't worry about it. You're going to do better. And I was just like, I failed like that's my first time ever not getting a level one and level one is kind of like failing too but it's still passing so I don't care but I was really kind of like for a few days I was like bummed out at least a week I was depressed I was just like wow if I fail this ATI how am I gonna do with critical care like critical care is med surge times two and that's all cardiac, diabetes, um, what's that, DKA, all those liver, anything that's bad and critical, that's what nursing aid is. Like, it's all critical diseases. And I love the disease process. Like, I love learning about it. I'm pretty good with, like, facts. But, yo, if you're not going to put the same information on the test, from what you taught in the class, um, that's 
that doesn't work for me. It just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. My dogs are. Gigi! Tell Gigi, shh. I got my other dog in here, Duchess. Good morning. It is the next day. Um, I was so irritated last night trying to vlog. My dogs are barking. My son came in the room. So I just finished up whatever I was doing. And today is Saturday, clinical. I'm at clinical right now and it's 6.47 a.m. And I need to be inside for um, for 7 8. What did I say? It's 6.47 and I need to be inside at 7 a.m. Um, I got my coffee and I need to put my chapstick on, lip gloss, whatever. Y'all, this lip butter from TikTok is the bomb diggity. Summer Fridays. I bought breakfast slash lunch, which is a yogurt and an apple. And I got a pack of gum because I never ever leave home without gum. I always have gum. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Sunday. And this morning, I am out here again in these clinical streets, getting ready to go into my second clinical site for the weekend. Um, it seems like it's already flying by. I have seven weeks or six more weeks now to go. This was our first clinical. Let me turn off my gas. I see somebody from my class. Hallelujah. That means that I'm at the right place. And let me show y'all what I got for lunch. So Thursday, I was very calorie conscious. I was watching what I was eating. Friday, I did the same thing. Um, and also Saturday, I was very health conscious watching what I ate. Today, I'm not going to do that because she said there's food around here. I didn't see not one restaurant, um, like food place. So I got a sandwich, which I didn't even want to eat bread, but... It is what it is. I'm going to have to work out when I get home. But I got a hero turkey. I call it a hero because I'm from New York. They call it a hoagie here. But I got a hero. I got a bag of chips. And I got water. Got my water right here. So that's my lunch. We are on lunch. I am in a wealth of feelings right now. Because... Um, this this class that I'm in is all about geriatrics and aging, the aging adult. I'm an aging adult. We're all aging. I'm not getting sad, but I'm 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 becoming more aware. Like, oh, that is happening. Okay. Now I'm 45. I am trying to be more health conscious because, yo, the people who are out here having strokes and having diabetes and all these horrible ailments that lead to other disorders is just alarming. And I don't want to be that way. I do not want to be a burden to my children. I just I just refuse to do it. I refuse to be a burden. I say that to say um, my channel is all about taking your 40s and being your best self when you didn't have the opportunity to uh, foster that at an earlier age, if that makes sense. I did not graduate from college in my twenties to whereas I was able to build up my life. I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't do that. I was raising my kids and working regular jobs and just being a regular old regular person. And now that I'm 45 now, when I was turning 40 is when I decided to start doing things so that I could build a life for myself and for my children as well. But I know that while I'm halfway there, they're halfway adults and they are going to be in college and probably living in apartments. My oldest daughter, she doesn't even live at home. So I'm going into nursing as a profession and I'm 45 years old. Now, this is the real to real. I'm I'm just thinking about what kind of nursing job I'm going to have if I'm older than the normal typical student nurse. 
who's 20, 25, maybe even 30, who still has their youth a little bit to fall back on. I don't have any youth to fall back on. It is what it is. And when I graduate, I'm going to be 46. Is that bad? No. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's It's doable and it can be done and it's nothing wrong with it at all. But I'm just saying, especially the nursing that I want to go into that I will disclose later on. Um, <clears throat> the kind of nursing that I want to go into is that functional for me at my age because I waited so long to get into the profession. So if you understand that, let me know in the comments, like seriously, it's a heartfelt question um, or something for you to even think about. Like, you know, if you're 50 and you want to be a nurse, are you thinking about the toll that's going to take on your body? Are you thinking about how it's going to affect you mentally and physically? Do you think that you can do it? Um, are you in shape? Do you work out? I don't work out the way I should and I don't eat the way I should. I'm changing my diet um, gradually. What are you thinking about that? What are your thoughts about becoming a nurse, which is a strenuous job? You have to be picking up patients, moving equipment, and doing all these things that require you to be very physical. Are you up for that? That is a challenge. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about that because I think it's a valid, maybe I should make a video about that. Anyway, I just wanted to have that little heart to heart with y'all, just, just things I've been thinking. Today is Monday. Um, November 6th. So last time I spoke to you was yesterday, Sunday, um, while I was on break at clinical. Today is a whole new day. Today's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great week. I hope that you have a great week. This weekend's clinical was interesting. It was all about the older adults and I was really in my feelings. Um, our last assignment yesterday, we had to um, sit down and, and interview a um, an elder, I guess, uh, one of the residents from the home that we visited yesterday. It's not really home, it's a, um, like an independent living situation. And, um, we had a couple, so six students took the wife, six students took the husband, and we just separated into groups and interviewed each one. And then we kind of brought them together at the end. So what time is this? 8-11 just pulled up to my job so I start work at 8 30 so I'm gonna stay here until like 8 27 I'm gonna clock in at the very last minute 